it's Roberta here from Interscore Delveries and today I'm going to be bringing you through a 10 minute all levels morning yoga flow to help you feel energized and start the day off on the right foot. So pop on something comfy, grab your yoga mat and let's get flowing. We're going to go ahead and begin this morning's class in easy pose, this cross-legged position on the mat. So try to ground down through the sit bones, moving any flabby bits out of the way, and let's try to lift up nice and tall through the spine, drawing those shoulders back. We're gonna find three deep breaths this morning, and I want you to find a really audible or really loud exhale, just getting rid of anything that we no longer need in the body, okay? So let's close down the eyes, take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Twice more, just like that. Inhale. Exhale, let it all go. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and blink open the eyes and release the fingertips down either side. As we inhale, sweep the hands out and wide. Let's bring palms to touch overhead. As we exhale, we're taking the hands to prayer at heart center, interlocking all fingers and begin to push away through the palms, the hands. Find a round through your spine and tuck your chin towards your chest. Beautiful, twice more like that. Inhale, sweeping the hands out and wide. Lift the gaze if you wish this time. Palms come to touch. Before we take the hands to prayer at heart center, exhale, seize us, interlocking the fingers, push away through the palm of the hand, round the spine, chin to chest. Last time, inhale, sweep the hands out and wide, lift the gaze, palms come to touch, exhale, hands to prayer at heart center, interlock all fingers, push away through the palms, the hands, holding it here for five. I want you to tuck your pelvis under and draw your belly button back towards your spine for four, three, two, one, and slowly begin to lift up tall. Once again, release the hands down either side. As we inhale, sweep both hands up towards the ceiling, bring palms to touch, and as you exhale, release your right hand down towards the mat, bending into the elbow, and slowly begin to draw the body towards the right hand side of the room. Find that side body stretch. Breathing deeply here for three. Keep both sit bones grounded for two. For one deep inhale through the nose. Use that exhale to pull yourself up through center until the left hand meets the mat. Reach that right hand all the way up and over. Side body stretch. Once again, breathing deeply here into that side body. Keeping both sit bones grounded down through the mat. For two. For one. And let's pull ourselves up through center. Finding a seated twist before we move on to our knees. I want you to take that left hand to the outside of the right knee and reach your right hand back behind you. If it feels good on the neck, take your gaze over that back shoulder. Try to stay lifted nice and tall through the spine instead of just collapsing down through the back hand. We're here for two, for one. Let's take it back through center, nice and slow, no sudden movements. We take the left hand, or the right hand rather, to the outside of that left knee. Reach the left hand back behind you. Once again, if it feels good for the neck, we take the gaze over the shoulder. For two. For one. And let's take ourselves back through center. Make your way towards tabletop position on the mat, four point kneeling. Taking the knees to hip width distance apart, toes are on top to the back and taking the hands to shoulder width distance apart, fingers spread nice and wide. As we inhale, begin to drop the belly down towards the mat, pull the heart forward, lift the gaze, finding your cow position. And as we exhale, press down through the palms, the hands, begin to round up through the spine. Tuck your pelvis under, tuck your chin towards your chest, cat pose twice more. Inhale, drop the belly down, curl the tailbone, lift the gaze. Exhale, we're rounding up through the spine. Last time, inhale, drop the belly down, curl the tailbone, pull the heart forward. And as we exhale, we're rounding up through the spine. Now you have an option here to continue with your cat-cow movement or feel free to do a little bit of free spinal movement here, which is something that I really quite like to do. So just moving intuitively and just taking your body in directions or 
into movements that feel really good this morning. We might hear a couple of cracks or clicks along the way. So once again, option to continue with your cat cow if that feels a little bit more natural to you or just find this random free movement, anything that feels good. Let's make the body up, give the hips a little shimmy left to right. Do a little morning dance. Ooh, nice crack there. We're here for one more deep round of breath. And you can go ahead and take yourself to stillness, that four point kneeling once again. Go ahead and tuck your toes at the back. Push your sit bones back towards the heels and lift your bum up towards the ceiling, finding our first downward facing dog of the morning. Take a moment to make any adjustments that are necessary. If you wish, take a bend into your knees, softening the knees and push your chest back towards the legs. We can take a little bit of movement here once again. So pedaling the legs through, moving the hips from left to right. Just really aiming to wake the body up here. Finding a slow, deep breath once again. And I want you to use this pedaling motion to begin to walk your feet, to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Taking them to hip width distance apart as we inhale, bring your fingertips towards your shins, lift your gaze and find a flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, bending into the knees, fold over the legs, deep forward fold. One more time, inhale, halfway lift, lift up and lengthen the spine. As we exhale, we're bending into the knees, folding over the legs, deep forward fold. Go ahead and engage your core by drawing your belly button back in towards your spine. Allow the hands to hang heavy and we're going to begin to ragdoll it all the way up to stand. Really nice and slow here. Feel the quads engage, glutes coming on into the action there. Core is nice and strong. Take it nice and slow. Uh, we can begin to lengthen up through the spine. Give the legs a little kick out in front. And let's draw the shoulders back and down. We're going to make our way through one sun salutation A this morning just to create a little bit of heat in the body and get the blood flowing. So let's bring the big toes to touch, keeping a slight distance between the heels. Pulling up through the kneecaps, engage the quads. Squeeze the bum cheeks together at the back. Core is nice and strong. As we inhale, sweep both hands up towards the ceiling. Palms come to touch. As we exhale, we're hinging from the hips, swan diving over the legs, deep forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Lift up and lengthen the spine. Exhale, bending into the knees, fold over the legs, deep forward fold. Let's plant the hands at the top of the mat. Step the right foot back, step the left foot back, high plank pose. Option to drop towards the knees here this morning for knees, chest, chin or stay lifted in your high plank and make your way down through Chaturanga. Squeezing the elbows in towards the side body, chest meets the mat. As we inhale, we're sliding it through. Keep the elbows nice and tight towards the side body. Push down through the hip bones, squeeze the glutes at the back. Inhale. Exhale, chest meets the mat. We tuck the toes at the back, push the sit bones all the way back towards the heels. Lift the bum towards the sky, downward facing dog. Excellent work. Press the chest back towards the legs here for one deep round of breath in through the nose. Let's exhale through the mouth. Look forward towards the gates, the hands and begin to walk the feet to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Big toes touch, inhale, halfway lift, lift up and lengthen. Exhale, bending into the knees, fold over the legs, deep forward fold. As we inhale, sweep the hands all the way out and wide, palms come to touch. Exhale, hands to prayer at heart centre. Make your way towards the midpoint of your mat and step the feet to just a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. Turn the toes outward, heels point inward. We make our way towards our yoga squat. So nice and slow, bend into the knees, begin to draw the bum downward. Ensuring that the hands are to prayer and heart center. Option one, keep the elbows lifted or option two, you can go ahead and push the elbows towards the inside of the knees for a really active variation of the posture. Keep that chest pulled forward. Keep the gaze lifted straight ahead. We're here for two more deep rounds of breath. Feel free to wiggle it out, maybe moving left and right. And of course, if your heels are slightly raised from the mat as well this morning, that's absolutely fine. No pressure. 
no pressure to be at any particular point of a posture. This is your practice. Final breath. Now from our yoga squat, we're gonna make our way towards a wide seated posture on the mat. So I want you to drop both hands behind you, extend the right leg forward, extend the left leg forward, and make your way towards this V-like position. So from our wide legged seated position, take a bend into your left knee, pushing the sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh. Go ahead and take your right hand to the outside of the left knee, and let's sweep the left hand all the way up and over so that you're dropping your ear in the direction of your knee. Really beginning to open up through the side body for three, for two, for one. And in one fluid motion, you're gonna drop that left hand behind you, push down through the palm of the hand and raise the hips forward. Let's reach that right hand all the way up and over. We're here for three for two, for one, and let's release it all the way downward once again. Let's do the same on the opposite side. Extend that left leg nice and long. Bending into the right knee, push the sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh. Left hand comes to the outside of the right knee, and let's sweep that right hand all the way up and over. Drawing the ear in the direction of the knee, we're opening up through the side body. Gaze towards the right side of the room for three, two, one, in one fluid motion, let's lift up, drop the right hand downward, push down through the palm of the right hand and press the hips forward, reaching that left hand all the way up. Breathing deeply here for three, for two, for one, and let's take it all the way back down towards the mat, extending that right leg forward once again, wide seated position. Make our way towards easy pose, our final posture today, so that cross-legged position on the mat. Allow the knees to fall out nice and wide either side. And I want you to take one large rotation of the shoulders, drawing them back and down. I think it's a really nice idea to set an intention for the day ahead. So if you have a spare moment before you leave the mat, I'd like you to close down the eyes, take your hands to prayer at heart centre, and set that intention now, whatever it may be. Drop your forehead towards your hands. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat this morning for our 10 minute flow. I really do hope that you're feeling energized and that you're feeling ready to attack your day. This full Casal set, along with lots more yoga apparel and accessories are available to buy nationwide in store or online at elveries.ie.